what drives you to excel in all these areas of expertise, areas of expertise such as bodybuilding, you know, your collection of Oz, your radio Christian show? You know, Kurt, I, I, one of the profound days in my Christian walk was uh, at Mass one day. I didn't grow up having access to reading the Bible for mm -hmm. myself. But one day, there was Luke 12, 48. Okay. And uh, the priest said, to whom much is given, much shall be required. Mm -hmm. And I just feel like God has given me so many talents and so sure. many gifts and so many passions and so many enthusiasms in life. And, and it's a real responsibility and an honor to, to walk through life for him using them. I'll tell you a cute story, when I was a kid, uh, gosh, you know, doing sleepovers mm -hmm. at the McDevitt house. Who they had like eight kids, and we had six. And the the woman says to me, uh, in the next morning, her mom says, uh, Cheryl, do you want to take a shower before you go back home? You're welcome to. I said, Well, sure, Mrs. McDevitt, but I I need to have a responsibility. Do you have a responsibility for me? And she's like. Yeah, I'm sure the thought bubbles were all over the room, right? Right, right? Well, when we were kids, we all had our own little bathrobe that I embroidered our names on, and it was our responsibility to take them downstairs to the one shower for six kids and hang them on the line so we had a dry towel the next morning. Wow. And so it was always like, Sherry, don't forget your responsibility. Pick up your responsibility. Do you, do you take your responsibility downstairs like I told you to? So I thought my robe was called a responsibility. Mm -hmm. But I feel like life is just we should be responsible with the life god gave us and i don't want to turn to heaven one day and meet god and have any of my talents or gifts buried mm -hmm.